Gary McPhail. I'm the, one of the directors of Position Partners and one of the founding members of uh, Position Partners, which uh, formed as a, a, a joint uh, combining of five different businesses around Australia, which used to be the Topcon agents. In our early days, with Topcon's development in survey equipment, they had some quite nice equipment which uh, dovetailed into the mining industry in the survey sector, which was, especially for underground, they had a lot of good waterproof instruments for total stations. Uh, so in the early part of the mining game, probably 20, 25 years ago, we were quite prominent in the WA market in the mining sector. As Topcon developed their machine control section and their lasers, their focus became more civil construction. So our business shifted focus towards civil construction. Uh, and that has brought us up to probably the current day where we're quite strong just in civil construction. But obviously around Australia, there's a fairly large mining uh, market that you know is not there for the taking obviously because there's other players in the game but there's definitely a niche there for us um, and as we've expanded our product range and um, we've now moved into UAV technologies which suit a lot of the mining applications we've moved into uh, scanning technologies which also suit mining um, some of our GPS now in our traditional survey and robotic total stations and monitoring solutions are all a good fit for mining. So our product range has come up to the, um, what the mining industry would expect. It's now about us putting ourselves into that market. And one of the holes that you have to fill is uh, some machine guidance. And we've got a great expertise in machine guidance through Topcon in civil construction. So it made sense for us to um, just expand our knowledge into the mining market. Uh, and mining machine guidance is a slightly different uh, animal, if you like, to civil construction. Civil construction is looking for automatics and grade control mainly, whereas mining is looking for more reporting and scheduling and um, production targets and so forth. So, um, but it, the principle's the same. So, we, we'd been down the path before in a couple of other companies looking at uh, trying to get into mining machine control, but um, it wasn't a good fit there in some regards. So. Uh, We've had a nice relationship with Carlson through our survey products over the years and we've watched them grow their mining product and software and we've had a, a high regard for their software over the years so it was a good fit to try and uh, foster that relationship and push the Carlson mining product into our niche mining markets which is, you know, we've still got a lot of scope there in the smaller gold mining and smaller pit area work. Well, certainly. Uh, from a civil construction point of view, we were heavily focused and have built our business around civil construction. And the demands from civil construction are no different to that of the mining industry. It's a 24-7 business now. Uh, you have to have machines working on your site full time. Uh, so we have to scale ourselves up to be able to um, be on site within a moment's notice and have machines up and running, do remote site connection so that uh, machines don't stop in their production. I think the mining industry expects exactly the same thing. We knew that, we were committed to knowing that that's the path we have to take. Um, but it's not easy and it's need to have resources to be able to cover that and we were never up to probably two years ago, never in a position to to enter that market because we couldn't do it justice. We would, we would not be able to have serviced the customers how they would have wanted. So. It's taken us that long to ramp up to a point where we've got the personnel, we've got the expertise, and we've got the, the know-how to be able to back them up 24-7. Um, that was one of the major factors of entering that market. You can't go there unless you're serious. And our focus was always civil construction, so now we're, we're ready to take on some of the mining clients and show them the same uh, standards of service that we applied to civil construction and we've got some very loyal customers in civil construction, large companies who um, rely on us day in day out. Yeah, another important aspect of um, entering the mining market is making sure that you have the appropriate training facilities for people. I know it's a, a big part of the mining industry to have guys properly trained on either plant or equipment and everyone on site has to be knowledgeable on what they're trying to achieve. So 
For us, a big part of that was also being able to get to a point where we had facilities available to, to teach these sort of um, new machine guidance systems. We always had our own training facility here. We can cater for up to sort of 20 people in a classroom and run courses and we, we do regularly for um, civil construction companies. Um, we've just signed an agreement with another company called Richards Mining Service who have made available uh, plant and uh, a quarry arrangement where we can make as much mess as we like uh, and put people in a practical situation and run training courses on site out at the quarry which is just 20 minutes from our office. Uh, that's available to us as well as the classroom situation which we've always had catered here. Um, on top of that we're looking at um, uh, having uh, proper servicing contracts in place so that there's uh, reg regular scheduled maintenance for the equipment on site and service technicians travelling to the, to the mine sites. As, as part of our development in machine control for um, position partners as a whole, looking after our customers in civil construction, we, we developed a product called Takara Service. Takara Service uh, ensures that every one of our machines has a, a modem connection, either over the 3G cell network, or we can even do it via satellite phone or over GSM network. And it enables us to dial into anyone's grader, dozer, excavator, and see on their control box exactly what they're doing. We can even take control of it remotely and then over a phone call if there's some problems or loading of data or, or they've got some issues with some settings, uh, one of our technicians can just log on and within a couple of minutes can have the operator up and running again. Uh, it's in, a, in an environment that we work in, in in Western Australia where sometimes you're three or four hour plane ride away, uh, two or three day inductions to get on site, uh, a simple finger problem can be solved in a two minute phone call now whereas it may have taken us three or four days to actually fix that. Just uh, the knowledge is not always on site, even though people go through the training, things get forgotten. Um, and you just can't sometimes get to that point where you've fixed it on the over the phone if you don't physically get to see the problem. So then it means someone's got to go to site. That's a huge headache. Uh, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of wasted time. Um, we now have the ability with every machine for a small fee we can uh, dial in and uh, see exactly what's going on. Um, yeah, the Carlson product uh, was a great attraction to us because of its simplicity. I mean, obviously we're used to, in um, civil applications, uh, controlling the blade automatically uh, and there's quite a complex array of cables and hydraulics to put in and get that so it's working down to the millimetre. With the uh, mining product, you're more looking at the track elevation uh, and um, sending data, it's more, in, more, more involved in uh, mesh networking so that we can talk from machine to machine and send data back to the office for scheduling and for production reports and this sort of thing. So from a product point of view, it's a lot simpler for us to handle. The nice thing about the Carlson product was it was just a plug and play. It's just two components. We've got a, a, a dual antenna with a heading coming down into one box which houses the GPS antennas and the software and the 3G modem, everything that's required, the Wi-Fi is just in one box. It's like two components. Uh, to us, that's a dream to be able to service. Uh, it won't be a problem to have spare components. If uh, there's an issue with any machine, it's just one component or, or sent up. It's easy for someone on site to replace. It doesn't require technicians. Um, the beauty about it too is, is that if there's, it can be swapped from machine to machine. You don't have to have a difficult install done on, on, a, on a machine that then can't be swapped to some other machine that hasn't got any uh, hydraulics installed. So uh, it's just a lovely product to work with. Uh, the Carlson product also has a, a three year warranty, which is rare in our industry. Uh, so this, uh, especially the, the CBX5 box, uh, has quite a bit of smarts to it and quite a lot of, uh, it's got GPS boards inside of it as well as a full computer system on board as well as uh, CAN bus drivers as well as 3G modems and for that product to have a three year warranty that is uh, gold.